Okay, in this video we're going to have a look at the factors that affect levels of carbon dioxide. And a lot of this comes down to human factors, okay? So we need to just remind ourselves a little bit of background knowledge here that carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. That means that this gas in the atmosphere starts to absorb energy and that is causing the earth to become warmer. And scientists are very concerned that's causing changes to, to the weather patterns, it's causing water levels to rise as the ice starts to melt. I and mean, it's something that we need to address. So we have a look at the, the drives behind the increase. We've got more humans living on the planet. Humans uh, take part in respiration. Respiration involves the release of CO2. Deforestation. So we've got an increase in deforestation taking place around the world. And um, why are we doing this? People are removing forests in order to make room to build so people can live, but also to grow crops so we can feed people. Um, Deforestation means cutting down the trees, removal of trees means that photosynthesis can't happen, so less carbon dioxide is taken in, and that means we're going to get an increase in the levels of carbon dioxide. We've also got, as we get more people, and we've got uh, development happening across the world in countries, we've got an increase in demand for energy, that's linked to transport and industry and houses, and most of our energy is generated from fossil fuels so the increased demand for fossil fuels burning fossil fuels causes release of carbon dioxide so these first three factors are all linked to human impact on the planet the final factor here is, is not down to humans but volcanoes will release carbon dioxide and that is something that's outside uh, human control